coming in hot. Hey. Oh, you know. <laughs> hey. Again. <laughs> Jiggy, I want squid only. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? What's Welcome back to another video. My name is Steven. My name is Kevin. And we just finished a pretty successful day down at Stave River. We got ourselves maxed out on chums female chums, so we got a bunch of roe, and we're about to cure it, and we figured, hey, let's try something new. Let's try making a how-to video, so that is exactly what this video is about. We're gonna be showing you guys how we, or he, <laughs> no, we, we, no, it's how, we now. How we cure roe. We personally use roe for just early season coho. Early season coho, or? Stewhead? Uh, Stewhead as well. I'll yeah. be using roe for stewhead. So yeah, just. Um, Pretty much just those, those two, but roe is applicable to all salmon species. Yeah, especially uh, coho first light. Yeah, and it's nothing pretty, beats the roe. Pretty much just personal preference. As is the case with you know all things that you make on your own, it all comes down to personal preference. Everyone's gonna have their own different way of making things, mm -hmm. uh, and this is just the way that we prefer to make it. Tell me what you need, bro. Our way. It's really simple. Uh, salt, sugar, and then of course the um, cure powder, Posky baits and uh, fire red. Yeah, so that's pretty much you, what you need. Salt, sugar, and uh, cure powder. Yeah, a bunch of newspaper yeah. to lay the roll on. Some good paper towels. To yeah, this because we don't have anything to put it on. Was it? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have to be newspaper, man. Dry them up first before you start curing. the bloods and everything but I'm really lazy today and you know, we just finished fishing man from first lights <laughs> I'm done so cure powder what did you just shake it everywhere oh yeah hell yeah really? oh yeah hell yeah <laughs> I know it's expensive guys but don't be shy on using it I'm not gonna hurt your fish or anything you should rub it around get in every single corner massage it everything's red red yeah usually I would clean these veins too but I'm really lazy it's gonna work anyways coho at cap ain't picky only the vetters are picky <laughs> that's why we are so successful at cap but nothing at better <laughs> you miss the spot you over here ah it's gonna go in there see how much I use man <laughs> I know right you got these are like what $23 yeah. you got your whole thing once no it's actually a lot Sugar is gonna make the egg dry it up a little bit. It's mm -hmm. easier for you to use. More. Stew head like a sweet, guys. It's proven in the past. Let it many stew heads. <laughs> Just because the my rolls are so sweet. Step four. Grab a bucket. Chuck it in. Chuck it in. The cure powder can uh, create a lot of juice. After you put it for like a couple days, you don't see the juice anymore. Once you see it like a little bit firm up and dried up, dried them up on a drying rack for like half a day. Wait, so if you use a shallow mushroom, what do you gotta do? You gotta like flip it over, yeah. just so it's equally oh, so soaked the juice. in oh, okay. the juice, right? So. Okay, so if your box is like this, right? Yeah, the then shallow, you gotta flip it. Then after half a day, you gotta, you gotta flip it? Not like half a day, like a day. Flip it over for another day? Yeah. And then you wait 
Wait until there's no more juice. Killing a cap. You guys want to know whether or not this grill works? Check out our uh, Capilano early River. Capilano, Capilano early coho videos. Yep. You would it, did, know. it did pretty good. Not not great. But what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, man? It's all right. And there's one more thing too. Usually people use bowl racks just so the egg dried up and firm up. I'm allergic to bowl racks, by the way. <laughs> So there ain't gonna be any borax in my row. So, but if you guys want to use it, you could just right after this, once you dry it up, you could shake it in borax. Even right at the river, you could shake it in the bag with borax and you, it's ready to use. Wait, so after you finish like this thing you put in the pan, do you refrigerate it? Yeah, refrigerate it. Okay. Put it in the fridge. But when you're drying them though, you leave them outside at room temperature. Not anywhere heat, it's gonna go bad. You just take about half a day to dry up. Usually, like, People wait until they dry it up, but for me, as long as when I touch the roll after you on the right um, drying rack, after you touch the roll, there's no color on your finger. That's when it's ready. All right, the roll is done. Quick, you know, 15 minutes or so labor yeah. from Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, you guys gotta keep the roll dry. Like when you take it off the fish, do not put it anywhere near water, because as soon as you wet them, that that roll is done. With the moment you cure them, it's no good. In my experience, and keep your road clean. Do not like lay them on the, gro the ground where dust and dirt and everything. As soon as you take it out of the fish, put it in the bag. <laughs> Treat your roll like a baby. That's how you should do it. So to recap, okay, so step one, lay it out on newspaper, floor, whatever, right? whatever you have, right? It doesn't really matter. And something clean. Yeah. Dab it dry with paper towel, step two. Step three, go to, go to town with the Polsky, what's it called, the curing powder? Powder, yeah. We use Fire Cure Red. Yeah. You guys can't see, but we use Fire Cure Red. You no, know, be liberal with it. Sprinkle That's it everywhere. Personal preference right yeah, there. Yeah, 100%. There's orange, there's pink, there's even natural color as well. So. so sprinkle that in, go to town, rub it in. Next is salt. Sugar. One spoon of salt. One spoon per side. Usually like two to three spoons of uh, sugar per side. <laughs> I like it sweet, so, you know, it's it works for me. And it yeah. worked for us, so it's... Rub, 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 and then throw it in the case, or the box, whatever box you guys have. Yeah. Now you can already see the juice already starting to come out. One sec. It's gonna be like a full box of juice right there. By tomorrow morning, when you open them, the juice will be up here, covering the whole thing. When you see all the juice are gone, mean they already soaked into the roll, that's when you're ready for the drying rack. So, so if the juice covers all of the row, yeah. then you don't need to flip it, right? Yep. You don't have then to in a shallower box like this, the juice might not cover the whole thing. So if it doesn't, you flip it over for another yep. day. Yep. Yeah, flip it over for another day. So you should get used like two, two, two and a half days anyway. So yeah. Yeah, yeah that's gonna do it for our first how-to video. Hopefully this helped you out in some way or another. If it did, drop us a like. Thanks. And if you do personally have, you know, some other tips and tricks that you're, you know, open to or willing to share, drop them in the comments so the rest of the community can see. You also can DM us on Instagram yep. at BC Fishing Majors. This is kind of the, our first how-to video as we've mentioned multiple yeah. times in this video. It is a little, you know, awkward, for unrefined. Us. Let's leave it at that. Yeah. You know, this is just another kind of stream of videos that we're interested in making. Mm. So we're open to doing more how-to videos in the future. Uh, so if you have anything in particular that you'd like us to kind of touch on in a how-to video. How-to floss. <laughs> But yeah, if there's any other topics that you guys want us to cover or give a shot, uh, drop them in the comments or, as he said, DM us on Instagram and we'll look into those. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much All right. it. And... Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing and we will see you next video. Peace. That's what we... There's other, other different colors out there. That's the worst cookers going on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's our first time doing this kind of video that we're not on the river, so bear with us. Bear with us. Bear with us. <laughs> Believe us, we feel the same way as you guys feel right now. <laughs> Awkward, we know. <laughs>